Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So the triplets and their brother have been saying they want to leave Nigeria to the UK. And um, they have their reasons for wanting to leave Nigeria. So I'll allow you guys to listen to their reasons while we all watch. Fenium, oh. why you tell me why you don't want to leave in Nigeria anymore? Number one, because the level of insecurity in Nigeria is too much. Okay. Every day we wake up, we hear this person has been kidnapped, this person has been robbed. It's not good. And the second thing is that, well, if you go to the UK, we have, we have few opportunities to go to the academy. We have few opportunities. What academy? My U Academy. Mm -hmm. We have the opportunity to see because in the UK they used to do like when we are watching football, the, the footballers used to go uh, to the academy to teach um, the children um, to teach the children in the Who school. Who are interested in football? Yes. So I, I would like to be a part of that because I want to see a, a player face to face for the first time. Oh, uh -huh. that's good. Okay, Salem, tell us why you want to leave Nigeria. <coughs> okay, two reasons, right? Yeah. Number one, I want to leave Nigeria because that team. See, they don't want to allow Peter Abu to um, uh, uh, um, what's it called, to win this election. See, eh? If they don't even allow him, you know what I will do to them. And now the second reason is because that. Stadium. Okay, so the reason you are going is because you 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 wanted Peter B to be president, and uh, you want to go to Old Trafford. So basically, the reason you are leaving Nigeria is because you want to pick a career in football. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So Daniel, okay. the reason why I want to leave Nigeria mm -hmm. is because every time when somebody wakes up, they hear this person has been kidnapped, this person has been robbed. Yes, so I don't want to stay in Nigeria anymore because Nigeria is not a safe place to be okay. until we choose a good leader that can take over Nigeria that is a very good person like Peter Obi. Hmm. I will not come back to this Nigeria. And number two reason is that UK everything is fair. Nothing things that are supposed to be expensive that are very cheap. That's why I like UK. You think so? Yes. Okay. UK is be, be, remember that being affordable or being cheap is relative. All right, start now. Okay. So I'm to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. now I will give you up to six reasons. Number <laughs> one, I want to leave Nigeria because the level of insecurity in this country, I don't know. This is the same insecurity that these things came and caught our cable and, and, and ran away. They came and, and entered this house and took our television. <laughs> and our window was open with our lights. Thank God, God just blinded the eye and they could not see us. Number two, other countries have more more thieves than Nigeria, but you can hardly hear that um, that thieves came to another country to come and do this thing. Every time you wake up in the morning, you hear that thing go and go to do another thing. I'm going to do another thing. Okay, fine. Let me explain something to you guys. See, Nigeria is blessed. Africa is blessed. Don't do that. Nigeria is blessed. Africa is blessed. The only challenge we have in Nigeria and in Africa is our leaders. If our leaders can get it right, hmm? as for me, if I have all the resources I need, I will invest in Nigeria because Nigeria is very, very, is a fertile ground. Nigeria is, see, it's not as, as though in the UK you don't see thieves or you don't see people willing others. But the truth is that in the UK, system works. If something happened, they will investigate it to a logical, a logical conclusion. But in Nigeria, when they tell you, they will first of all bring the person to social media and do public opinion justice before they will now go to investigate. So they begin to call somebody a thief before even investigating the person. And the law of Nigerians says that everybody remains innocent until proven guilty, right? So it's good that you people have said why you don't want to stay in Nigeria anymore. And I know that the reason why I said let's when you kept talking about living, I said let's do this video so that you will, I will hear your opinion and other people can listen to why you want to live. Basically, what I see in all you have said is that Nigeria will not give you the kind of opportunities the UK will give you, right? 
Yes. So you have more opportunities if you go to the UK to to become a footballer because you want to have a career in football. That's notwithstanding, Nigeria is a blessed country. Nigeria has natural resources that if the government harnesses, like if the government comes into you know, using it, we will become a, a greater pillar. You know, they used to call us the giant of Africa. It's no cliche. We are actually the giant of Africa. But the only challenge is the kind of the crop of leaders we keep getting. You know, where they live, Nigerians who are so smart, when you go outside the country, Canada schools, UK schools, US schools, you see that Nigeria students do excellently well. But the truth is that they will never bring those brains to govern. Because they know that the, the level of impunity, when I say impunity, I mean that it means doing things with reckless about like you don't care, you just do things as if you are above the law. So with, there's so much impunity in Nigeria and in, in the those who even have the good intentions to go out there and do the right thing, you see that they will try to harm such people because they do not want the right things to be done. So don't feel bad that it's not Nigeria itself that's a problem, but the kind of leaders we have. Okay, fine. And then another thing is, you know, I used to tell you guys that we all have leadership in our own level, right? Now, if you eat something and throw outside a moving vehicle, you have violated the law and you are, all, you, have also, you are also guilty like the politicians. Are you aware? And that's why I used to tell you that when you eat anything, put it in the car. When we get to where we are going, we get it trash. And trash it and you guys have been doing that since you were born and to the point that some of you when somebody is driving and tries to you know throw saliva outside you'll be like no don't do that so it means that the thing had really entered into your spirit so as individuals as nigerians who all keep doing our level best in our own level to ensure that we do the right thing do you understand we will not be like others who we'll keep doing things the wrong way because you see if the governments have people who brings if they are accountable to what they do i'm sure they will not be doing what they are doing do you all understand mm -hmm. so don't hate nigeria nigeria is not a bad place nigeria is a beautiful country and let me tell you that is why you see that when the white men come into nigeria because they know that we have gold we have all we have a lot of things both uh, agricultural f uh, things like farm produce they want to stay because they know that if they bring in the hard currency they have that's their money we call it hard currency because it's bigger than the naira if they bring it into uh, nigeria they make so much money from us so you can imagine they don't want to go back so for me if not for the way the country is as for well it's not like there's for scarcity it's just that people do not have enough money to buy fell if fell is so that 546,000 sorry 560,000 60 naira and or 546 naira and you are supposed to buy like 20 and you are supposed to buy like 20 liters you know 20 liters cannot take you to a long distance and bring you back right so you see that now in those days with 10,000 you can fill your tank for a small tank in those days, you can use um, 15,000 or 14,000 to fill up a tank. But now it's not like that. With 18,000, it's 10,000 that will give you 18, 000, 18 liters. So when you look at all this, the, Nigeria is not bad. It's just the crop of leaders we keep having. That's the challenge. So I want you guys to have a rethink. If it is based on your career, you are going to the UK, fine. You have a point there. But let's not be because of... Because even outside the country, there is insurgency. I won't call it insurgency, I'll say insecurity because I see people go to London and their bags are snatched. Although it's not as rampant as, as it is in Nigeria. And their system works. When I say system, they have institutions like that work. They're independent. Like, look at what happened in INEC. They call them the Independent National Electoral, Electoral Commission. But they are not independent because they, they keep collecting bribes from people to make them win. So it is INEC that decides who becomes the president. I don't know if you get. So that is okay. And I, I respect your opinions about what is going on in the country. But I hope that Nigeria will be great and good in our lifetime. In Jesus' name. Amen. So bye, guys.